Hi everybody, it's Amy, also known as Aussie Stitcher in Texas, here on FlossTube and over on Instagram, coming to you today in this very, very hot day here in Texas with an unboxing. So I received in the post today my Frog Warts from Frog Warts Year 4 box from the Black Needle Society, and I thought I would unbox it on air and show everybody what we get in the box this year. So I have not opened it. I've got my box cutter here to open it now. So I have not spoiled it for myself. I haven't watched anybody else's unboxings. I've kept it quite, I've been very good. Normally I'm the first to spoil things <laughs> for myself, but this time I was good. So we're gonna open this up. And okay. So first off, oh, sorry if I just knocked you there. We have the kind of sheet with everything that's in there so it's the year four the fourth movie is my favorite movie of all of them and then inside is everything that's included in the box a little note from the black needle society information about the digital retreat which i'm not going to be participating in uh, but i did last year and it was a lot of fun and then a photo challenge if you're participating so let's get into it. I haven't, I didn't read what was in there, but okay. So first off on the top, we have a project bag with the mermaids on there. How cool is that? So it's the same front and back. It looks like which I get you there without the glare. How cool is that? So just a little project bag. That's okay. That'll fit, you know, a decent amount of projects in there. I really like that more so than last year's bag. Even though last year's bag was a big one and this is a small one, I like this bag a lot better. Um, so let me put that to the side. Then we have, let's just pull this up. So a pen, a little maze pen. Is that what it is? So it is the third task port key pen. It's time to enter the maze for the third task. Can you solve it and reach the Triwizard Trophy first? But oh no, it's a port key. Use this pen to record passwords during the year four retreat. So just a normal pen. And then there's a little ball. Oh, a couple little in there. That you can like roll through. I'm sure we all remember those from being a kid. Next up, oh, let's do this one because it's on the top as well. So we have some fabric, some bright green fabric. It is called Quick Quotes Quill. Uh, it's from Bistitch Me. I got the 32 count. It's one quarter yard. Um, Lugana, sorry. So I'm going to open this one up actually. So I know they had a bit of drama with the fabric. Whoever they had chosen originally never actually came through for them. So luckily, Brandy from Bistitch Me was able to pull it together on very, very short notice. Um, but look at that. Look at the modeling. No idea what I would use this for right now, but that doesn't mean something won't come up in the future. Let's put that back together later. What do we have next? Let's look at the floss. So we have the every flavor floss. And normally we get a, well, I shouldn't say normally. Last year, I think we got three colors. So I don't know if that's a normal thing. This year, if I can get them out, we have, two, three, four, five colors. So let me just untwist them. So these are from Color and Cotton. We have Berry Crunch, which is a variegated blue. We have Sugar Quill, so a variegated pink. Oh, that's coming up peach, but if I bring it back here, you can kind of see the pink, but it is pink, so it's not peach. This is called peach <laughs> and is a peachy color. That's actually showing very true to color. Might be a little brighter in person, but pretty accurate. We have chocolate frog, which is brown color as expected for a chocolate frog. And then the last one is canary cream. So a variegated yellow. That's also showing pretty true to color. So those are the flosses, five flosses. I'm trying to keep somewhat organized here. What should I grab next? So what is in this big? So I have this, which I'm guessing is a mug. Um, 
if I can open it up. That's always fun, isn't it, without dropping it. Okay, there we go. I'm scared. Okay. So, yes, it is a mug. So you have the dome string, how they arrived, and then you've, as we move around, you've got the flying horses where the girls arrived. That's cool, that's a pretty hefty mug. That would be good for soup. Gentle. Okay, what do we have next? So a sticker. Oh, it's a temporary tattoo, actually. That's nice. I'm sure I've got someone with children I can give that to. Then we have this, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna have some crinkling. I do apologize in advance, but it is stuck together. Okay. Oh, I think these are wax melts. Yes, so wax melts. Um, so care of magical creatures, it says. So it's petrichor, which is the smell of rain, I have learned. Um, ozone, salt, clean air, and driftwood. Let's see if I can open this up. I can. It smells kind of Christmassy. It's nice, I like it. I don't know how I'll use those. I don't have a wax melt, but that's okay. Someone I know might have it. A nice little stress ball. Constant vigilance, so Mad Moody's eye, I think. Squeeze. Um, what's this? A hat. So a hat that says spew, so uh, I can't speak, Society for the Promotion of Elvish Warfare. Oh, I'm just got a loose thread, that's okay. It's a nice little baseball cap, cute. What else do we have? Oh gosh, what are you over there? Um, let's do this one. So we have a little pouch, I'm assuming a needle minder is in here. Let's have a look, yep. And it is a dragon. So I got the Swedish, I can't, that's too small. It's, oh, Swedish short snout. So that's, it's a nice needle minder. It's got some weight to it. Oh, let me put that back in here. Um, next up we have a wallet, I suppose, of some kind. Is that what this is? Oh, it's a ticket wallet. So it's time to present your ticket to the 40 sec sorry, 422nd Quidditch World Cup. Who will be the supporting, who will you be supporting, Bulgaria or Ireland? Okay, so excuse the crinkles, I'm gonna open it up. Just because there was paper, so you wouldn't have been able to see it. So it says Quidditch World Cup, final. It's got the year, 1994. And then it's just like a normal wallet inside. So that's cute. And you've got Bulgaria and Ireland on either side. That's cute. Okay, what is this? So I think this is a blanket. <laughs> There's the Mad Eye Moody Ball baseball cap mug. That's the fabric. Needle minder. Yeah, blanket. So the Yule Ball blanket. Not sure how big it is. I'm not going to open it just now because it's all vacuum sealed, nice and tight. Oh, I'm like smushing people's faces. So I think that's Hermione. I think that's Victor. Um, oh no, there's Hermione and Victor there. And then, I don't know if that's meant to be Harry. I don't know if that's meant to be. But there's a blanket. Certainly will not be needing that for many, many months. <laughs> Living here in Texas. And then the final two items. So it looks like we've got two patterns, one being the, bond, the band sampler. So the year four band sampler. I also have this digitally, which is nice. And then from Firewing Designs, oh, there's two things in here. So we have dragons, so opal, which is nice. And Dragonfly number nine, fairy wing. So cute. So you've got like an opal dragon and a yellow dragon. And that's all everybody. I am 
very excited for this box. Like we get three patterns, we get a needle minder, some wax melts, five things of floss, uh, a great little project bag, a nice hat, the, the wallet, beautiful fabric, a mug, stress ball, a blanket. I mean, what more can you ask for out of a um, subscription box or a you know, mystery box as it were? So this is it. This is a quick one for everybody. Thank you for sticking around and watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you could give me a thumbs up, that would be great. I'd really appreciate it. It certainly helps with the YouTube algorithm. We all know what YouTube is like. And if you are joining the Black Needle Society Frog Wars Year 4 Retreat, I hope you all have a blast and enjoy. I will be silently lurking throughout the weekend. Uh, but stay cool if you're here in Texas. Stay warm if you're somewhere else in the world where it's cooler. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, and have a good night, everybody. Bye.